guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, today, let me get try to straighten you out here a little bit. It's a little crooked. Um, I'm just going to play with some paint on this canvas. I picked this canvas up at a um, thrift store. And somebody named, what's her name? Hannah Ford made this beautiful little unencumbered, I mean, just piece of art. It's really great. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I'm, it's my turn to play on top of Anna's work now. It's a funky old um, canvas. It's not a good one. She's got some big, thick globs here that are yummy and some spills here that are just great and some big streaks of paint. She just went to town and I have to tell you, I actually love it. But I want to use her canvas as a background and kind of, I'm going to play over the top of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get started with some um, collage on top of it a little bit. And then and I'm just going to go over it with some um, white paint because I don't have any, any gesso. But I just want to just do a little bit and kick it back and then we're going to add more paint and, and uh, whatever to it. Maybe some stenciling. I honestly don't know. Let's see. Why does it seem crooked? If I went like that, why does it? You guys are, I know, here, hold on, sorry guys. I bet I'm gonna reach out right there and see if I can fix this a little pinch. I think I, that's better. Yeah, that's, that's more better. I, um, I need a new pad for my chair too. I'm a little disorganized here, but what's new, right? <sighs> anyway, it's raining and it's awesome out there and I'm loving it today. Um, I was going to, I went to work today and I was going to work one to six and I got there at one o'clock and they weren't ready for me. And I left at one forty-five because they said, well, sorry, well, we're not ready. Things weren't working the way they were supposed to. I thought, oh, this is not, not the kind of hours. I, and then I looked on the schedule. And I was only scheduled for five hours next week. Mm -hmm. Five hours guys. So I'm going, okay. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to keep going and see what happens, you know, just see what happens. I'm not, I'm not going to, we'll just play by ear, right guys? Just see what happens. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up the, give up the, whatever they say. <laughs> what do they say? Give up the something. Give up the. Pony, give up the race, give up the whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that's what's going on with me today. Um, so that was kind of cool because I was able to come home and do a lot of stuff in my craft room. I had a lot to do. Look at this dirty little canvas. I love it. I love this dirty little canvas. We're just going to continue on where Hannah left off, I hope. Do a little something, something. I love using these canvases that somebody already started. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. So just hang out with you. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it today. It might be a mixed media girl. It might not be a mixed media girl. It might be a... Um, I just don't know what it might be. I have no clue. But I'm sure, whatever it is, I'm already having fun. Just gluing down paper. I'm always feel, already feeling a little bit more relaxed. I was really, uh, really disappointed today that that happened. Um, you know, I got ready and I was nervous anyway because of like my first real day. And I was like, oh, okay. But... That happens, right, guys? <clears throat> so, what are you guys doing on this rainy afternoon? I don't know what it's gonna, what it's like where you are, but it is raining here today, and uh, I'm loving it, loving the rain. I gotta tell you, I think my kid and I are the only ones that look outside and say, "Oh my God, it's raining! That's so cool!" I think we're the only ones in the world that does do that. However, I told her, I said, "Wait till winter. Wait till winter happens." I don't think we're gonna be saying that as much as we are right now. <laughs> Trust me, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not a, um, 
I know what it's like in the rain. I know that the rain can get to you. I've lived in it my whole life. So, well, not actually my whole life, but when I was younger, I lived in it for quite a while. I was born in it, raised in it until I, until I left. So it's going to be an interesting to see how I do, do uh, continue to, if I do continue to like it or not. I don't know. I honestly, I won't know till, till I'm here for a while, right, guys? There's just no way of knowing. That's enough of this. I kind of want to put one right here. There we go. Okay, so we're enough of that one. How about some more? Uh, some pretty pictures. This is like a real glob of something. It's like a gl glitter glue, even. I wonder if I can like pry that off of there. Or should I try? I don't know. I probably should even try, actually. I'll just roll with it, guys. Just roll. I don't want to cover this up. I like these colors. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll stick that right there. The center. The center. Yep. That's where it's going to go. Smack dab in the center. Well, it's not like we're going to see it when we're done, though. <laughs> I know how that goes. But you never know. Just playing. Just playing here. I want to thank everybody who purchased from my Etsy shop, my, um, my junk, my, uh, little golden book little kits. There's still some out there if you're interested. And if you want to see the video, just click on them when you're interested. And then I link to the video in there. So just to FYI, by the way. So yeah, there, that's fun. It's fun to do. Telling you, putting stuff in Etsy is real business, though. I'm telling you, it's very, it's quite the, it's like, it's like a part-time job, you know? <laughs> if I did that all the time, I wouldn't need a job, probably. No, that's not true. I need the job, you guys, to get me out of the house. I'm finding that me and my daughter need some space, you know what I mean? Really, you gotta have space. I mean, whoever you're, you know, living with, you really should have space. It makes it, makes it, um, healthy. So, that you're not, I don't know. You know. Can you, you know exactly what I mean. I know you know. <laughs> so, we're doing okay, but it's better if you're not, you know, constantly with each other. It's like a relationship. You want to be able to go away and do stuff and then come back and have something to share, you know, share your day, share whatever you did, you know, that kind of thing, right? Same thing with family. You want to be able to say, oh, guess what happened today? Instead of um, both being in the same space at the same, you know, all day and whatnot. Although her job starts pretty soon, so that'll be good. I know I keep saying pretty soon. It might have already started by now. By the time you see this, it might have already started. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Boy, I like working on these big canvases, though. It's fun. Right down here where you can see me? Yeah. You can see me. Filling up very quickly, isn't it?
Yeah, I don't like to pay more than a few dollars for these used canvases. Um, and you can find them for two or three dollars at the um, here's that little more of it at the uh, thrift stores. So um, you should see the look on their faces when you're buying it too. They're like, um, you like that? <laughs> they don't say that, but you kind of like see it on their face. And I just kind of look at them like, yep, I just, oh, gosh, you know. The look on my face is like, this is, this has got to be worth some money. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? This is one of those paintings where I'm going to get home and I'm going to look up Hannah's name. And one of these days, you know, this is the bomb. All right, let's put a little bit, since I have it out, I might as well use a little bit of this Asian paper. Not cutting very carefully, not being too cautious. I'm not trying to use too much of this. I think that's about enough. dry so let me put this here. I will be right back all right so we're back it's a little bit dry there's still some sticky spots but we don't care we don't care so I'm gonna go ahead and scrape some of this white on here just scrape and um, just you know, move it around a little bit kind of action we can get with that. Kind of very, it's very soft. Soft paint. I, mean, I don't know why I, mean, why I said soft. I mean, like, fluid. Very um, liquidy is what I'm trying to say. Having a really hard time saying it, but that's what I meant. have any white gesso. I don't think. If I do, it's buried and it didn't look very hard. So. Yeah. So that's that. Let's put a little bit of yellow down on here. And blow dry it a little pinch. Notice I'm not being very careful about anything. I don't even have any um, um, <laughs> wax paper down or anything today. I'm just going for it, you guys. Just going for it. It's stinky. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this. That's my hairdresser's putting back out in me. Blow dry. Do you know what I mean? It really is blow dry, right? Okay. I'll be right back. 
Okay, we are back, and I'm going to scrape some paint on here, and then we're going to use the method that where you put the stencil down and then wipe it, bring it back up. Uh, I want a little bit of pink, I think. Pink, I think. And the stencil we're going to be using today is the Mixed Media from the Crafters Workshop, and it is the 12 by 12 stencil, and it is called... I'm going to try to be really... Cell Theory, okay? Cell Theory, and you will find this in my... Um, in the description box down below under my in my Amazon link. So I'll try to make it like the first one so that it's easy for you to get to. So I'm going to check out this stencil. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so let's just go ahead and lay this down. I'm going to go ahead and just um, actually put it on here and scrape. Scrape paint, guys. if you will. See what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's going to be cool. Very cool. I love these big white. Um, is that cool? That's really neat, neat stuff right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to going to work this a little bit you guys. I'm going to go the blue over here. It's kind of like the opposite, right? Kind of the same thing. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and put it on here. Work that way. Because I'm wiping it up anyway. So I'll scrape that on. The edges we can always play with later. Not a big deal. Okay. You can tell I don't I'm not used to working on canvas because of how messy it, I make it. Don't know what I'm doing, guys, just playing. Totally just playing and making a mess. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. Love how these pieces are actually coming out now and popping forward. Let's go with all of it this time. So I throw these away because I don't know what to do with them yet. I mean, there's a million things that you can do with them, but I don't want to. Um... Yeah, I've got too many things going. <laughs> so I'm not. You can't do everything, right? Well, you could, but not today. And I just have no room to keep saving. Um, you know, things like this. I save a lot of stuff, but not this. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. I'm going to wipe this up a little bit. Not that it matters. I don't mind my my things getting kind of painty. I really don't. Loving this. Got to fix this, though. Let's go with some smaller. Yeah. There we go. More better. Yeah, I like that. Pretty, huh? I'm getting there. I'm going to go ahead and I'll be right back, guys. i just trying to save you guys some time. So actually, as I was looking at this, I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea to take this, this, um, and maybe scooch around, but it's not actually that good of an idea because it's not really doing what I thought it was. Let's see if this side will. Oh, yeah, this side is, but I'm not really, yeah. Okay, let's just do that. Just to outline it a little bit. So why not? Yeah, we got a lot, a lot of work to do. Might as well just kind of get some color going on the sides. Yeah, smushing, smushing. Not make it perfect. I don't want it to be perfect. There we go. Yeah, no, no perfect. Nothing perfect, please. It's a distraction when it's straight line. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's there. Okay. So that's that. We should probably use another stencil now. 
and um, kind of go with the same colors. So let's just do that really quick. I'm going to pick, I had another stencil out here. Hold on one second. So I did the cell therapy. And now I'm thinking, in contrast, we should do some numbers, right? Just to do that. And this is an Americana decor. And this is, uh, what's this called? Well, it's the big numbers. So where's the number? There's no name of it. Old World Numbers, which is really cool. And it's Americana decor. And again, this will be in the description box. I can open this up. I think I'm just going to stencil these on with a um, sponge. I'm going to stencil these on like with maybe, should I put on some like black? Yeah, I think I will go ahead and do black. I know it's going to be kind of um, harsh, but that's okay. See what happens. Let's see what happens. And I'm only going to do a few. So, I'm going to get this bunch wet. Put it in the Mod, Mod Podge paper, <laughs> Mod Podge water, I mean. So I don't want it to be super dark, so. That was a little wet, guys. Okay. Just take that off there. Hopefully that's about right. Yeah, it is. It's just about right. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun just making a mess. Now, if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm going to scooch up here. What I'm doing is I'm just going to do, yeah, the 8, 9, and the 0 right there. Right on the edge. A little darker on this side, I think. This is a lovely stencil. Great big, hairy stencil. You know, so when you jelly plate with this, it'll be awesome to jelly plate with. I cannot wait. I'm getting ready to do another jelly plate session soon. I'm dying, guys. I am just dying to do a jelly plate session. So that looks really cool. Okay, so over here, I think we're just going to put one up in the corner. Maybe just go with... Uh, Let it come off a little bit. Three, four, and then part of the five. Let me blow dry this really quick, though, before I mess it up. Sorry, guys. Hold on. This is neat. Fun, fun. Love this stencil. This is a favorite now. I just, I can tell already. I can tell already that I'm gonna just adore this stencil. That's pretty good. Okay, now let's go ahead and. Do the three, four, five, and have it kind of coming off. Perfect enough, right? That right there. That really gave it some interest, didn't it?
Let me uh, give this some thought and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think I know what I kind of want to do now. I want to use this stencil and I don't know. I think I got this at um, Michael's or what, a store like that, but I just want to use it to add a little bit of um, just some other kind of uh, elements here and there. And I want to put use green. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same kind of thing where I add the paint and then wipe it off. Because I really love that technique. I don't know where I saw it, but I'm loving on it. I I, I don't know where I saw it. If I did, I you know I would give you the, the website. But I just, I don't know if I saw it in a book or a site. I think I saw it in a book, actually. Um, I've got a book that has all kinds of stuff in it. And so I've been trying to, you know, look at it and say, okay, well, I'm going to try that. And so here we are. That's what we're doing. So... Uh, I think I'm going to start with this down here, this little pinch, and we're going to go ahead and use the um, scraper method again, if I can find my scraper. If I can't, I do have a bunch. I washed this, so the thing is a little cleaner. I have to grab another scraper. That's okay. I've got tons of scrapers. They're easy. Slime it does. That's what you can do with your credit card. <laughs> right? Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and scrape this out here like so. Scrape a little pinch like that. We'll use that in a minute. Let's go ahead and just use this one. Because that one I think is just too... So decorative. Okay, let me close my door real quick because my daughter's listening to a movie that's got some language. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, I think that green will look nice on here. It's not a bad green either. It's a um, it's just a craft green shamrock. I used to, I had a bunch of bottles of this color. I don't know if I still do. Or not. I think I do though. I'm trying to use up my paint for these projects. It's a lot of fun. So just use whatever colors you have and that you want to use up. Always fun. Oh, look at this. may not look so good with this. My glasses on might help. Oh, yeah, you can. Just dab it. Just dab it. Let's see how that goes. Mm. Yeah, I'm not loving that. Actually, it wasn't bad, but let's not do that. Let's just use... Let's try something else with that. Smear the blue green around. We're gonna have to use a different, a different one. Or I could go ahead and use it as a, you know, as a stamp. Let's see how that goes with the sponge. Oh, the sponge is way too wet. Mm -hmm. I'll use paper towel because it's handy. Because it's handy. I do have a here. Hold on. I got one of. Them. I'm a, I'm I'm ready. <laughs> I've got some of these. Hold on, guys. Some of these. Some of these and some of those. Let's use a new one. Okay. I like it a little easier. Yeah. Yeah, I do this fast. Yes, I actually like that a lot because, see, it's very subtle and just a really nice look. Okay, that's actually great. Let's go with that over here. I like that. It's a good shake. I don't think I did. that got under there. Oh, well. We won't tell the police. 
We won't tell the mixed media police that we made a mess. Oh yeah, that's the name of the site. Make a mess today. Hmm, imagine that. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, I love that. Really like that. I know it looks a little spark or sharp, but it actually is working. Cool. And I just want a little. I'm just gonna do a little something over here, like like that. Okay. Well, don't go on top of the thing, Don. Of course I will. Just a subtle little half of a one. There you go. Yeah, like that. So we've got one, two, three. This is actually going to be this way. This is this is the way it's going to be when we're finished because I have an idea. Or I'm probably going to do a mixed media girl on here, by the way. So this is probably going to be her face. You know? So I think I like that. I think I'll just do another, like, a snippet right here. No? Mm, yeah, no. Okay. So let's go ahead and dry those to put in the water. I'm trying to stay organized. I don't know. How am I doing? <laughs> Not so good, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna come in now with some um, little black um, uh, stamps. So hang with me while I figure that out. Knocking all those paints over up there. I'm bowling for paint. I'm bowling with my paint bottles. Love how this feels. Even the kids' glops, I love them. Love, love, love them. Really cool. It's definitely glitter glue, I think. It's definitely, I think. Okay, so there's that. Let me find something to stamp in a smaller element in black. Be right back. I found some black paint. Well, I didn't find, I didn't have to look too far. It was like right there. But what I did find was this drywall tape that I've been using. And again, I'm going to link this in the description box below in case you don't have any. You can just go to uh, Amazon and pick some up through the link below. FYI. <laughs> Hopefully that's convenient for you. And uh, let me try that again. For some reason. Oh, I picked a really bad sponge. Hold on, guys. Let me get rid of that sponge. Let me get a new one. It's like, I'm going to have to just buy some new ones because these are funky. I know you can cut them, but they're so inexpensive. I don't know why I'm being such, such a cheapy about it. Okay, let's do that again. A little bit of paint on there. And then, oh, there we go. That's more like a kind of a glob on mine, but that's okay. No, it's not okay. Hold on. Oh, I got to love, love it when you can wipe stuff off. That no harm, no foul, right, guys? Isn't that great? I love it. So I don't know why that's not. I think I put too much in one spot. Kind of, yeah. Okay, that's better. I like that. See what I'm trying to go for, guys? Yeah. Just a little bit of black here and there. Oh, and I guess if it does, does a little darker. Oops, right there. Darker dots. That's okay. It just adds a little interest. Why not? Why not? I just... It usually doesn't do that. It might be this can... You know what it is? Is I'm on canvas, and I've never done it on canvas before. So that's probably why it's a little different. And... Oh, there. That's better. It's because I had too much on my paintbrush. See that? That's much better. So just really... Just a little bit. You just, I overdid it. So then just... Ah. I see. That's how you do it. Just don't put so much paint on it. Hello? Hello? All right. Just a little bit of interest here and there. And just go really light on the paint, you guys. Like, I way overdid it. That was my problem. Just way overdid it. Oh, look and learn. I love this, uh, this technique. There. Took me a minute. I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> So it's just very subtle. See right there, right there. 
that cool? I just love it. It's a little black. I don't like these, but that's okay. It's not going to be anywhere near the, you know, it's just going to add, add more interest. That's okay. All right, so that's enough of that. I think that's plenty. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, better. That's a little better. Okay. Yeah. I really like it. Okay, so now with that, I'm going to go ahead and um, wipe this off. You can tell mine is much loved. I have used and used and used this, but I just not in a while, you guys. But I do love it. If you don't go to the Amazon link to get it, you can pick it up at the um, any hardware store. I don't know if it's cheaper or not. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. So I think that's enough. I think what I'm going to do now is my girl. So let me grab my pencils and let's. Um, let's just start, I'm going to do acrylic girl with pencils this time, pencils and paint, and we'll go from there. So, um, I don't know if I should do part one, part two, but I don't feel like finishing right now. And I've just kind of been as, um, stopping and going on the video as I've gone today to save you guys some time as I sit here and wipe my hands off, which I could do off camera, but I got into it. Boy, got it. I got a mess going on today. So let me grab my pencils. They're right here. Put this away. And I think maybe what we'll do is we'll start with uh, her, just her face today. And then um, I'm going to use this big round thing for her face. It's pretty big, but I'm going to do it anyway. Should I? Is that too big? That's a really big base. Let's see if I can go a little bit smaller than that. I need to find one that's been used. Yeah, this one might be better. So you use what you got in your staff, right guys? <laughs> I use everything for everything. Nothing is safe. Okay, yeah, that's a good size. And I think I'm going to go over a little bit so that her hair is more, I don't know. I just want to go over a little bit instead of straight in the middle. Let's just do that. Yeah. This is a number three H. I don't know if that matters or not. I don't care. This is artist pencil. Better not touch that. I wonder what these are like to work with. Can you erase these pretty good? Mm, not really. I'll have to practice, practice with those. Oh, this is Stabilo. Well, that's cool. I didn't know I had that. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I'm going to get there. Event eventually. What's this? To be. Perfect. To be or not to be? That is the question. I'm just going to go ahead and make a nice round circle here for the face. Just to start out. Perfect. I'm sure you can't see that. I'll come in a little bit for you. Still can't see it, but it's right here. Right? And I like the size. So there's that. Now we're going to grab my awful... ruler that I don't like. Put it in the middle. I have to do this template or I'm lost, you guys. I always do the same template because it really helps me a lot. This is the bottom of the mold. This is the bottom of the lip or the top of the lip. Top of the lip. So now we need to find something for the eyeballs. Are you in? Check the middle again. Are they even? Yeah, you can see where she is a little bit. And then maybe once I get her drawn out, we'll stop and say this is the end of part one so that you guys aren't dying. Okay, so we're going to use the inside of this as my, yeah, my eyeballs. It's not very big. I don't know if it's big enough. Well, it'll have to be big enough. Because that's what I got. Sorry about the seeing my head. There's that. Is that going to be big enough? Well, if not, we can always make it bigger. I think they're too small, but we can make them bigger, okay? Oh boy. I 
I should write lighter, but I I want to show you guys what I'm doing, so <laughs> don't do so good. Oh, well, by the time I get the paint on there, it'll be fine. As a matter of fact, I should paint this first and then put the eyeballs. No, I think we're going to do that. Let's go over this with some paint. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to go over it with this paint that I found that I had. And I was like, oh my God, I, I'm going to use that. I found it and I lost it. No, nope. where did it go? Here it is. It's this soft gloss, creamy colored paint. I got this a long time ago. I had two. One was open. Yeah, this one's open. Long time. Let's just play. We're just playing, guys. I don't think. Oh, this one isn't even open. Yes, it has. I just need to run under. There we go. Under some water. I thought that meant. Okay. It's like a. Oh, there's a bug in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack, smash it. Smack it. After this dries in, we'll draw. You know what I mean? I think it'll be easier. And I'm not going to try to get a full coat. I don't care if some of this shows through. I really don't. Yeah, see, it's actually perfect. Okay. That's just what I want. See, now we'll set, see the pencils e easier, much easier. I think I'm going to actually, I'm glad I'm doing this because I think I want to tilt her head somehow on this big painting. I want her to be tilted. I don't want her to be looking straight on. Let me come out a little bit. That's in. Because I think what I'd like to do, sorry about that, guys, is have her tilted one way or the other, and I can't decide. I'm not sure which way, though. You know what I mean? This is thick paint. I kind of want to take some off here. I might use my... Some of those things. Where are they? Mm -hmm. Just had them. Just had them. I have no idea where they are. There they are. I think it's too thick. I just want to wipe them off. That is, it's really thick paint, you guys, and it's kind of kind of funky. It's kind of a funky paint. Oh, I wish I had this. What's this? Acrylic medium gloss. Wait, there was something else I just had. Sorry, you guys. I'm learning my stuff here. Not that. What I'm looking for is something that I thought I had that was like a, um, it moves the paint, not this. Hold on, you guys, I'll be right back. Sorry. Actually, this is it. This is the, uh, it's acrylic medium gloss and use open or golden, use with open or golden, I don't care. Increases transparency and maintains long working time. Um, use thinly. So I think what I wanted to, what I'm thinking, I'm think, what I'm thinking this does is I can like thin this a little bit, but I don't know. So let's try. I mean, what do we got to lose? Right guys? So let's shake it up. And it says to use with golden, but you know, that's ridiculous. You should be able to use it with like anything. Right? Oh yeah. I think it's thinner. And then let's just see. It feels thinner now that I got two coats on here, but still, I wish I would have done this at first. Let me see something.
I'm trying to lift some of it off onto the... I probably should have just used some of this. Don't mind me, you guys. I'm playing right now. Yeah, that's exactly what I should have done. See? It's picking up the thick... Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. That's what I got it. All right. I know I'm picking it up just to put it back down, but just bear with me. All right, that's what I wanted. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to need a neck. So I want to use this for a neck as well. Okay, but that's what I was trying to decide what to do. Do I want the eyeballs here? Or do I want them looking up this, like her head tilted this way? And then, well, it doesn't matter. I'm, her neck's going to go here. Right. Yeah. See how nice and pretty that is and clear? See, now I should have done that at first, right? Really like that. Okay. I feel like I need to. This pen, this brush isn't very good. There we go. There we go. No idea what I'm doing. Happy to be seeing it. Happy to be doing it. And happy to happy to admit. Happy to admit it. Okay, that's good. So yeah, this was a buttercream that I got. Where did I get this? I got this on sale at. I don't know what that is. A Joann's or something? There's a whole... I'm trying to remember. I think it was a Joann's in a Thousand Oaks a couple of years ago, actually. And I was like, oh my God, that $1.74 for this whole big thing of this color. I just, it's kind of buttercream. And I was like, oh, this is a nice paint. So, yeah, I'm glad I kept it. I moved it with me, obviously, because it's here. So, yeah. So, all right. So, let's go ahead and dry this. And then I think my eyes and my eyes are going to change their, it's going to change its perspective. Because yeah. I don't want it looking straight on this time. I don't think. I think I want it kind of looking this, you know, her head's tilted just a little, to the, a little bit. Actually, maybe this way, so her hair can be more that way. That's what I'll do. Oh, got it. Okay. So her eyes are going to be like here, and her hair is going to be more flowy over here. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I just don't know, guys. I just don't know what I'm doing. But I'm having fun trying. So I'm using acrylic paint and not pencils, obvi. So this is kind of, I think this is a first for me too, as, as, as far as painting with acrylics. My last one was with those Shiva sticks and some oil pastels, and this one's with acrylic paint. So I'm branching out, guys. <laughs> I'm branching out. I probably should have just stuck with my um, trying to draw. <laughs> but not me. I have to go out on the edge and make a complete fool of myself while I'm online. Right? What the heck? What the heck? It's so sticky. Yeah, it's going to take it a while. It's slow drying. This is what this is. This is open acrylic medium gloss. And I'll put a link to it if you want it. So it slow drying acrylic uses open acrylic, used with open acrylic medium, blah, blah, blah. While producing more fluid mixtures with increased flow, you know. Um, increases transparency. Maintains long working time, slows drying of regular acrylics, use, use thinly, layer over 1 16th, dry, dry extremely slow. Oh, yes, that's just what we're doing here. We're drying it extremely slow. Let dry completely before using regular acrylics and clean the soap and water. 
There are currently no known health issues. But don't don't drink it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd say that's pretty dry, actually, you guys. I did a pretty thin one. It's got a nice little sheen to it. I don't know if you can let's see. There, see it? See the little sheen? Yeah, so. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, okay, so I want her eyes to be, see now, I'll have to paint over that, that's okay. Her eyes are going to be, her head is going to be more this way now, just a smidge. And I'm just gonna just do it a smidge. I don't really need to do the whole thing, just real lightly. I'm gonna go real lightly, guys. Here, I'll come in for you. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do like so. And another halfway. Like so. And another halfway. And another halfway. Okay. There we go. That would be pretty. Okay, so I don't know if I like the size of the eyes. Is this bigger? This might be better. Let's use this. So I'm just put, marking the outside here so I know, because your eyes need to be exactly the width of the eyeball around. So I'm just going to do this real lightly. Oh, that's a better, that's a better size, guys. Definitely a better size. Good enough right there. Yeah, see that in there? We'll get rid of all that. Hopefully. Hopefully. Does this erase well? Pretty good. I mean, yeah. I think that's buried underneath there, so we're, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble with that. That's okay. We're just gonna... You guys can fast forward if this is a lot, because it is. And someone said they look like E.T. Yeah, they really do. They really do until you get, get going. All right, so I'm just gonna get out some paint. I'm going to continue on, but I think what I'll do is I'll end this as part one, and then we'll come back and do a part two. So I'll see you back in part two, and I promise nothing. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I promise you'll have a good time watching me make a mess, okay? So come back for part two, and we'll work on this little mixed media girl canvas. All right. Bye, guys.